Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the slump of concrete and the different types of the slump of concrete. So I will explain with the help of an example, so it will be more easy to understand. So first of all, what is slump of concrete? Or why we do slump of concrete? Slump is basically shows the workability of concrete. Slump means the, work, the workability of concrete. So it shows that how much concrete is workable. If you higher slump value, then it is more workable. If we have lower slump value, then it is less workable. So if the slump of a concrete is higher, it means the concrete workability is also higher. When the slump value is low, it means that the workability or the flowability of the concrete is also low. By workability, I mean that how much it is easy to work with the concrete. If you higher slump value, it means it is easy to work with the concrete. It is more workability. Similarly, when we have lower slump value, then it is lower workable, low workability. So it is very hard to work with the concrete. So this was just the slump definition that it shows basically the workability of the concrete. Now how we do the slump test in order to measure the workability of the concrete. So basically a standard method is used where the a standard cone, you see here this blue is a standard cone. The diameter of the bottom is 20 centimeter. The top diameter is 10 centimeter and the height of the cone is 30 centimeter. So this cone is used and then the concrete is poured into this cone. For example, this is a cone and then the concrete is poured, a fresh concrete is poured to this cone to check the workability. So after putting the concrete here, this cone, this cone is filled with the concrete. You see here, this is a concrete. This concrete is poured into this cone and then after a few seconds or after like 30 seconds, this cone, or this cone is removed in upper direction. You see here. This is a cone which has been removed. So you see here the concrete behaves like in this way and it spread on the table. So this is known as the slump flow. Slump flow means how much the concrete is spread on the table. And what is slump? Slump is basically the height, the reduction height from the original concrete. So originally, if I remove this, it will be more easy here. So this is the original height of the slum, original height of the concrete. So, and then we remove this cone, so the concrete flows down. So the reduction of the height of the original concrete, this is known as the slump. And this shows the workability of the concrete, that how much it has been reduced. It ranges from 10 millimeter to 50 millimeter, to 100 millimeter and also to 200 millimeter or 220 millimeter there are different classes of the slump and accordingly there are different slump application for example a dam has a different slump requirement the buildings has a different slump requirement so the slump value totally depends on the project so uh, on the construction site so higher slump value means there is a high reduction of this height and it is more workable so this is basically the slump the reduction of the original height to the concrete spread value. Now, what are the different types of the slump of concrete? So, here are the types of the slump of the concrete. So, here we have four basic types. One is true slump, the other one is shear slump, the third one is collapse slump, and the fourth one is zero slump. So, what is the difference between this type of the slump? So, when the concrete reduce the height from the original height in a different way then they are known as the different types of the slump for example in the true slump it usually behave in a normal way you see here the height has been reduced in a normal way so this is known as the true slump but in the second case if we look to the shear slump so it the height reduces in a specific shear way that's why this is known as the shear slump this is not a normal way in which we if this is a cone and then the concrete height decreases like in this way so it does not decrease in this way but if this is a cone but this height decreases like 
in this way, in the shear way. That's why this is known as the shear slump. When this, when the reduction of the height is only partially, this part is reduced, but this part remains the same. So this is known as the shear slump. The third one is known as the collapse slump because it completely spread over the table. So this will be known as the collapse slump. The reduction of the height here is too much. More than 50% or 70%, so we call such type of slump as the collapse slump. The last one is zero slump. You see here, there is no reduction in the concrete. This is the cone height and this is the concrete height. So there is no reduction of the concrete here in this case of slump. So this will be known as zero slump and it has a very low workability. So the slump where there is no reduction in the original height is known as the zero slump. So hope you guys understand. So hope you guys understand the what is slump and the different types of the slump and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.